publishing 30 books on New Jersey law, treatises and forms books for lawyers. Over the course of 22 years, we come out with two books a year and they're supplemented annually, so they keep up with changes in the law. How has digital publishing affected what you do? Well, uh, those books are paperback books, but they're also e-books, every one of them. And in an e-book, they also link to the cases that are discussed in the books so that a lawyer can read and just hyperlink to those cases. Uh, with the newspaper, uh, everything we do is more, um, is quicker. Uh, it's, um, it's available on the web and we send out e-newsletters every day. Every day? Yes. Oh, several times a day. Was the transition to digital difficult? It's come gradually. Um, we've been on the web for 15 years, uh, but we've introduced more and more newsletters uh, with breaking alerts and with um, the full day's cases uh, each evening. How has all of this changed the way lawyers do research into case law and precedent? Law firms don't have physical libraries anymore. It's the rare law firm that has a physical library. It is all database research. There are no physical libraries. Um, uh, lawyers can be at their desks and they can ha tap into any kind of database and any kind of legal reference. Tell me about New, New Jersey Lawyers for the Arts. Okay. We developed 12 years ago uh, to celebrate the 125th anniversary of the Law Journal, a first a musical review at the New Jersey Performing Arts Center in Newark. I wanted to show that lawyers had another side, uh, that they were versatile, that they um, could sing, they could dance. Wow. Um, with the help of the New Jersey Ballet choreographing our lawyers um, and with a terrific lawyer musician named Roseanne Sullivan, we put together what started as a musical review and in the last four years included Bye Bye Birdie, Pajama Game, wow, um, uh, 80 people including visual artists who exhibited their works in an evening at the pack. And you also do pro bono work for local artists. Yes, this uh, the celebration gave rise to the New Jersey Volunteer Lawyers for the Arts, a charity which provides free legal services to artists and arts organizations. That's terrific. Thank yeah. you so much for being here. Thank you, Mary Alice.